my name is Julia and I'm your host for today's episode of Netlinked. Let's get started. If you enjoy watching videos on your Android through the Chrome browser, things just got better. With the new release of Chrome 52, users will get a better experience when it comes to video playback. Google says that video has been improved for speed and power efficiency, meaning smoother playback and faster load times. Google also says that the videos will start playing sooner instead of pausing before loading and that your device's battery will last longer. Videos on Android will now work with data saver mode, which will allow you to save up to 50% of your data when showing a lightweight version of a video. Google mentions that these improvements will be most noticeable on short videos. Maybe Google's next step can be making these improvements on the YouTube app. Intel is looking to make your VR experience better. The chip makers are reportedly working on a prototype add-on for the HTC Vive. What is the add-on? It's a camera attachment. One of the benefits of the camera attachment is to improve the Vive's chaperone system. Instead of getting a fuzzy look of the world outside of the headset, the Intel camera aims to give a clear video feed. The camera is also capable of tracking hand movements and Vive controllers. Some reports say that the camera can help with easy setup processes if you plan on moving to a different room. No word yet on when the prototype will be finalized. I have to be honest though, the Intel attachment kind of makes the Vive look like a unicorn headset. What do you think? Basis, a subsidiary of Intel, launched a fitness watch called The Peak back in 2014. Early on in the product's lifespan, Basis received reports that 0.2% of all devices sold were causing injuries. The issue is that the wearable could overheat and cause blistering. Unfortunately, despite their best efforts, the company is unable to come up with a solution without compromising the user experience. Now Basis has issued a complete recall on the device. Intel senior VP Josh Walden says that it's important that you stop using the watch immediately and return it. If you do own this device, you will receive a full refund for the retail value of the watch. It's time for Snippy Snippets. Thanks Carson for this awesome submission. If you want to be featured here, tweet at us. Reports are saying that Nvidia plans to launch Pascal-based mobile GPUs at Gamescom this month. The cards that are expected to launch will be the mobile versions of the GTX 1060, GTX 1070, and GTX 1080. Speaking of Gamescom, the organizers of the video game trade fair are tightening security due to the terrible incidents of recent weeks. This change in security includes a ban on imitation weapons for cosplay, weapon-like items, and bag checks. A new video shows off what could be the upcoming GoPro Hero 5 and its touch-based interface. Eh, I'm still waiting to see what GoPro's Karma drone will look like. Xiaomi launched their first VR product today in China called the Mi VR Play. It can fit devices with display sizes ranging from 4.7 to 5.7 inches. Reports are saying that when Nintendo launches their NX console, the system will get Pokemon, Zelda, and Mario games within six months of launch. Sources for all of today's news stories can be found in the NCX forum post linked in the description. Apparently it means if you understand this, you will have super strength. So I have super strength, I guess, but I kind of used Google Translate to read this, so. This week is NCIX's DIY Summer Sale. The Canadian deal is the ASUS RTAC 60AU dual band router for $190. That's a savings of over a hundred bucks. The American deal is an LG 34 inch ultra wide FreeSync monitor for $700. That's a savings of 200 bucks. Click here for the Canadian deal, click here for the American deal, and click up here or in the link down below for the rest of this week's savings. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here for previous videos and check us out on Twitter right over here. But as always, don't forget to like the video, comment for fans with benefits, and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Now if you'll excuse me, it's lunchtime. See you guys next week.